Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Eustace Farmer. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, how would you like to be able to import a mod to service your vehicles, and you can have it on any map that you enjoy playing on? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today, and I'm going to give this tutorial a difficulty level of M for moron, because if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Basically, it's this toolbox over here. Once you place it through Giant's Editor, you can pick it up, and you can carry it along to any place you want to go with it. You can even put it in the back of your pickup truck and bring it out to the field and service your harvesters and uh, your tractors or whatever. Anything that could be customized, um, you can use this mod on. So let me go ahead and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So you're just going to walk on over and it's got a pretty generous trigger around it. So just place it down near the vehicle. And then as you walk up, you'll see in the top left-hand corner, I'm going to press R, configure or directly sell the vehicle. So this is a portable customizing shop, basically. And there you go. And then you can come in here and you can customize it to your heart's content. So it doesn't matter where you put the toolbox. You can leave it out in the field or whatever. When you quit the game, even after you save it and come back the next time you play, It'll be uh, right where you had originally placed it in Giant's Editor. And I couldn't have done that any better. Right in front of the door. How's that? <laughs> couldn't do it again if I tried. So, first of all, I think it's important to give credits here where credit's due. I have some people to thank. So, let's start off with uh, Farmer Andy on Marhu.net. Thank you very much, um, Farmer Andy, for creating this mod. And thank you, Marhu.net, for putting it out there in a very simplistic, easy-to-use form that anybody can do. Second, I'd like to thank Simulate. This mod was featured in his Episode 7 of his Sandy Bay Let's Play episode. Going to leave a link to that down in the description. I suggest you go on over and watch that episode with him servicing his vehicles as well. Um, it was brought to my attention by my good friend Jerry, Grizzly Bear Sims. So please do head on over to Grizzly Bear Sims channel as well. Now he is an official Three Dudes Network member and he is one of the Three Dudes founders. So he's always down in my description. So please do go on over. Show him a little bit of love, shall ya? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get to it. And we're going to do it right after this. Alrighty, so let's go over some of the first steps that you're going to need to do. You're going to need to get the mod itself. I'm not going to put a link down in my description for the mod because this was something that was brought up uh, by Simulate originally. So I do think it's proper to go over, have a look at his episode 7 of Sandy Bay, and you can get the mod link from Simulate's channel over on that episode. So do head on over there and have a look-see at that. And when you do click on the link to get it, this is where you're going to land. Now, what I did was I highlighted all this and I copy and pasted it into uh, the translator, Google Translate. And um, he just gives you the very basic instructions on how to um, download and install the mod. And it's very easy and it was very nice of him to put the instructions in here. So again, thank you very much, Farmer Andy. This is just fantastic. And he also has a little video demonstrating the use of it. You might want to click and watch the original mod author um, in action using that mod. It couldn't hike. And one thing I did notice, very clever on here, is they got a little cow running back and forth. This is the original Giants uh, scenery, and he made the little cow run around, so I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so another thing you're going to need. You're going to need a RAR file extractor, because this downloads in the form of a RAR file. Now, sometimes some antivirus softwares will flag a RAR file as a virus. If you know where you're getting it from, you need not have to worry about that. Um, a RAR file is just actually, it's a more efficient way of combining a lot of large files um, and compressing them into one small one. Um, it's more efficient than a zip file, to be honest. Um, but you need a special extractor to get them out. So based on your operating system, whether you're Windows or Mac, now the top one has um, been updated since 2016. So that's where I would go. And I have a 64-bit system, so I would download the 64 by 64 for Windows. And it's for Intel and AMD Athlon 
you'll just have to choose based on your operating system and how old or new it is. Okay, so the next steps. So grab a copy of the map that you want to place the toolbox in. And then what I did to stay organized is I created a folder for the original map itself, unedited version, and then an edited folder. Okay, so with this, you could just right click on it. And if you have Windows 10, and I even think Windows 7, you have a file extractor built in. So you could use that regular one, extract it, and then place it in your edited folder because this is the file that we're going to be working with. Now, I also placed the RAR file that we downloaded from marhu.net in here. So you just right click on that and that's where 7-Zip comes in. So you're gonna come over here, just highlight it, and then you're gonna hit Extract Files, okay? And don't worry about any of this, just hit OK. And there you go. This is the file that you're gonna be working with. You're gonna open that up and you're gonna see four files in here. What you're gonna do is Click on one and then hit Control A on your Windows keyboard or Command A on your Mac and copy it. Okay, easy so far. Now you're going to go into your extracted law folds file into the folder. You're going to look for a folder called Maps. Click on that. Now all you have to do here is I just clicked somewhere over here in the white space, right click and paste and it's going to paste those files in here. And if it says replace, um, go ahead and replace. There's some uh, shader files and stuff that it will replace. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> and there you go. And what you're gonna see in here now especially is the toolbox i3d file. That's what you're gonna be importing when we open the um, map i3d in Giants Editor. I'm gonna double click on that. Now you have to have the latest version of Giants Editor installed as well. I'll leave a link for that down in the description for you. You're gonna to have to register for their developers network and then you can go ahead and download the latest version. Now, for those of you who have never used Giants Editor before, based on the performance of your system and how large the map is, don't be alarmed if you see that it's taking a little while. It might even say um, that it's not responding. It is responding. It's just the computer's getting nervous. It will open up for you. Just give it a little bit of time. Mine went pretty quick here. Okay, so now that we're in here, we're gonna navigate over to where we would like to place this uh, mod. So I would like to place it down on the main farm in the garage where you saw it originally. So what I'm doing is I'm holding my right click uh, mouse button down and I'm hitting the W key to walk forward and I'm hitting my shift key at the same time to run, okay? So that's how you move around. W, S, A, and D keys traditionally hold while holding your right mouse. Now you see if I take my finger off, I can't do anything. So you gotta hold down that right click. So here we are. I'd like to put it in the garage. Now just because we're standing here doesn't mean the mod is going to import over here. This is just where I'd like to initially have it. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna come into import. Okay, so you're gonna click on file and then import. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that folder where we just added those new files, okay? Okay, so it's in our edited folder and it's in law folds and it's in maps. Toolbox i3D. Now you don't wanna grab this file from the extracted RAR that we did. You wanna grab the one that was placed in the map folder. So we'll just click on that once and we're going to open it. Now you see here, this is very tricky. <laughs> it looks like it's right in front of you, but it's not. Okay. As you see, it's way down there. So these little, um, this sphere controls the orientation. So you can do the blue one and it'll tilt it left or right. You can do the red one and do it backwards or forward, or you can do the green one and you can spin it around. And then you have these arrows, these are your directional arrows, and the little squares on top is to increase the sizes of uh, the item that you're working with, so you can stretch it in all different sizes. So I'm going to highlight the blue arrow, you just hover over it, and pull it forward, and then we'll raise it up, and we'll pull it forward. Just take your time with this, okay? And there we go. So see, it's all the way down there by the barn. 
and even in past tutorials I've told people that's why it's important to when you place a mod to look at it from all angles because just when you think it looks straight and it's not floating at one particular vantage point you'll find out that it's nowhere near where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Now, if you want to move little increments, you hold down your right click on your mouse and you just scroll your scroll wheel on your mouse and you can move in little steps. Okay, so there we go. Now, as you see here, it's got the toolbox, it's got its little uh, collision or trigger, and then it's got that bigger um, trigger box around it. It doesn't matter. You could still place it within. You don't have to mess with the size of that. You can just place it wherever you want. So if you want it in this little building, it's perfectly okay. So as you see, it takes a little time. Now, I have items up here that came with the map. So you're going to want to delete these items. You just click on each one and hit delete on your keyboard and they'll go away. There's nothing active about them or anything like that, so you don't have to worry. And that's only if you want to have it, you know, where, where I'm placing it. <laughs> and I just did something crazy here. Let me click on that toolbox again. There we go. So if you lose it like that, click toolbox and that'll highlight everything. All the collisions, everything. Okay. So we're going to put it over here. Now I'm going to take my little green bar here. We'll spin it around because we want it to be in the correct orientation. Now I'm not going to, um, you know, remove the other items because I already did this. So, and there's actually just enough space in front so it can still look pretty. So you see it's you sink it down you want it just a hair above so you see that little trigger sink in and you see the surface of the bottom of the toolbox touch that's all you need just like that and then you're gonna take a look at it from the sides and so forth and so on and make sure it's exactly where you would like it and then while you're in here if there's anything else you'd like to straighten up like I got rid of this uh, wheelbarrow and I put the lawnmower over in the corner there. Oh, lawnmower, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That's all there is to it. You're done. That's it, as far as this part goes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up, you're going to click File, and you're just going to hit Save, okay? Now, when you hit Save, you're going to see that it's, it'll, well, it didn't now because it went quick, but it'll it'll bind up for a minute you won't be able to move around and now I can hit exit and sometimes it'll ask you yep do you want to save it again and you hit yes and that's gonna save it I'm going to hit no because I've already done it so now that you've gotten that done you want to come out here not make sure you're not in the map folder when you zip this okay so you want to come out to where it says mod description icon DDS all of that this is what you're gonna zip okay so here's an easy way to make sure it matches up right click rename copy this FS 17 law folds copy okay now click on something here mod description whatever it doesn't matter hit control a or command a right click send to compressed zip folder and again depending on the performance of your computer it could take a little bit there we go and now you see it says icon zip because it just grabbed the name off of something in here so I won't even touch that what I'll do is I'll just hit control and V letter V is in Victor and that's going to paste in the name that we just copied boom now I'm gonna right click cut and I'm gonna paste it out here well it's an edited so I'll just paste it right here paste there done take it slide it into your mods folder open it up and enjoy it that's all there is to it and I don't think I showed you but let me go ahead and show you that there's no errors in this if you've done these steps correctly you will not receive any errors whatsoever alrighty so here we are back in the map and as you see the toolbox is right back where we originally placed it after my little toss around party there <laughs> there you go no errors whatsoever now, if you have like HUD hider on, or if you're using the game extension mod and you go into screenshot mode and take all your HUDs off the screen, you will not see the little hand and you won't be able to pick it up. You have to have um, your F1 menu up. So like I said, you can put this on any map that you want. You just have to follow the steps that I outlined and all this and more can be yours. <laughs> 
So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope it's helped you enhance uh, your game and enjoy it a little bit more. Please let me know what you think down in the comments section. And until we meet again, my friends, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now.